I think. Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, John. All right, I call this meeting to order at 10.30 a.m. I proceed to the territorial acknowledgement where the University of, of Waterloo, sorry, reading an old version, uh, pursuant to Federation Policy 50, Indigenous Engagement and Inclusivity, the Federation of Students Council acknowledges the University of Waterloo is on the traditional territory of the Neutro, Anishinaabeg, and Haudenosaunee peoples. The University of Waterloo is situated on the Halliman Tract, land promise to the Six Nations, which includes six miles on each side of the Grand River. Uh, moving to approval of the agenda, unless there's any objection, I'm going to assume adoption of the agenda. Going once, going twice. Okay, I'm moving on. <clears throat> uh, approval of the minutes, we have no minutes. Items for adoption by consent, nothing's been placed on the consent agenda. Moving to reports, item 4.1, executive reports, Abby Simpson. Go ahead, Abby. Great, um, thanks, John. Um, I'm sure you noticed I did not submit a written report, but you'll be receiving one this evening. Um, it's been a really, really busy week, um, so I thought it just best to give you an oral report um, and then follow up with um, the document so then you can ask any questions um, via email. Uh, just some quick highlights that will be included. Um, I've been spending a lot of time working with the Committee on Student Mental Health and that executive committee there as well, um, finishing up some final recommendations, some concerns that uh, myself and some of the um, student members of that committee have, um, and then moving towards um, writing and approving the final report. Um, imprint is closing at the end of the month, so that's great. Um, PPC will be meeting um, sometime in the next few weeks, um, so there there were no um, meetings in the past month um, as there are no documents to review, um, so therefore no reason to meet, um, but we have a few policies that are coming down the pipeline um, to take a look at, um, so a meeting will be called in the next few weeks. Um, I'm currently leading the overhaul of the Executive Council and Board transition, which has been taking up uh, quite a bit of my time. Um, getting a new executive team and in particular the new president uh, ready to take office on May 1st. Um, myself and the VP Student Life participated in the HREI uh, review, which you'll be receiving an email about um, on Monday, detailing how you can also be a part of that review. Um, I spoke at the International Women's Day breakfast um, on March 8th, um, which was well attended and went well. Um, I also worked with the University Tenor and Promotions Committee and provided some feedback there um, to improve the, the student experience on that committee as well. Um, other than that, um, I'm continu continuing high-level governance planning um, in conjunction with the chair of the board. Uh, are there any questions about my oral report? Kanan, go ahead. I'm not sure if this is council or board thing, but any update on the equity review? Uh, yeah, thanks, Kanan. Um, so the external consultant we were using, um, kind of, we were in communication. I was waiting on a document, um, and I haven't heard from them, and I followed up multiple times. So we're moving on to a different um, external consultant, and I have meetings next week with um, three different firms to have some more conversations about how they can support us. Um, I'll let Kanan reply to that quickly and we can move to Vincent after. Uh, just a quick follow up. Have we paid the additional consultant anything yet? We have not, no. We have not uh, paid them. Thanks. Um, Vincent? So when you say imprint is closing, is imprint like closing permanently or is this part of that like reorganization thing? Sorry, the deal is closing. Okay. In legal terms. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Imprint is still very much operating um, and has been operating since we took over operations in January. All right, thanks. Thanks for the clarification. Closing is in the, the, the weird fun legal term. Mm-hmm. Any further questions for our president? OK. Seeing none, we can move to the VPOF, Alana. 
Alana, I did mute you, so you have to unmute yourself if you're going to start talking now. I do not have anything to add to my written report. Um, I'd just like to draw everybody's attention to my response to people's questions about the raise event in case anybody asks you as a counselor about it um those are just my answers and feel free to send them my way thank you alana do we have any questions for our vpof okay seeing none we can go to vp ed who is not here uh abby she's not joining us right she's at usa she will not be joining us but she did submit a written mm -hmm. report and i'm happy to take and relay any questions if i'm not able to answer them myself okay um lucky for megan it looks like her report has been read and fully understood by everyone uh we can move to the vpsl now uh nada Hello. Um, so I cannot see the chat if anyone has any direct questions or responses. So um, John, please advise me on that because I'm calling from my phone. I'll let you know. Um, yep, yeah, thanks. But anyways, um, in terms of updates for this month, um, I will be giving an oral report with a written report to follow so that folks who um, want to look at written stuff can do that as well for accessibility. Um, regardless of that, we had a meeting in Bali We, I mean, myself, Abby, and Carrie, our stakeholders relations, relations officer with HREI for their HREI review. Um, we were able to provide the panel with um, information as to how USA um, would like to see HREI improve. Um, we'll be sending a, re a report or more like a summary on Monday. Um, and I know that uh, Abby would have sent you all um, an email about the HREI review panel by now. Um, so check your inboxes if you have anything to say or you want to participate in that. You are more than welcome to do that. If you want to connect with me first, I am more than happy to do that. Just send me a Teams message um, as I'm backed up on email. Other than that, um, coordinator uh, hiring for the same term is going to be conducted over this next week and the week after um so that's just an update um as well and then the hiring for my avp equity or not mine but um for the avp equity of the next fiscal year will also be occurring in the same time frame um just so we have um them transitioned with catherine as well um those are the major stuff I have to update you on i am now open Thank you, Nada. Um, we have a question from Edward. Edward, go ahead and say it. Um, can I ask a question about this motion uh, that's rising on the report? Uh, Nada, would you like to deal with other aspects of your report first, or um, would you take questions on this motion now? No, I can take questions. Um, I just do want to say that I did not bring this motion forward. It is not my motion. It was brought forward um, through a full-time staff, and because the services review is under my portfolio. That is why it has my name on it. So go okay. ahead, Edward. Okay, I just want to see if the December 2021 is clerical because the attachment says May. So clarification on that. I will let Abby just speak on the time frame of the proposed motion. My understanding um, from what um, from what I gathered when helping our staff put together this um, motion was that they were looking for some more time to to gather and put together the report and we're hoping to have it in um, the fall like bearing in mind that in the in the spring term there is still a full um, kind of section of reviews that are going on I believe there is about I think another three services that will be reviewed in the spring um, with the final report was supposed to be at the end of the spring term. Um, this is just pushing it to the end of the fall to give our staff more flexibility um, to get that final report out to council. 
if that makes sense. That's Thanks, Abby. Um, Nada, would you like to move this motion? And then we can get a seconder for it and we can start discussing the motion itself. Sure. All right, you can move I'll second. And are there any questions on the motion? OK, no further questions. Excellent. Um, can I see all those opposed to the motion? OK, no opposition and we will understand that there were some that there is a clerical error in the original documents. Well, what is approved is what is seen on your screen. Correct, Abby? Uh, yes. yes, it will be corrected to December 2021. Great, thank you. Um, we now move to the Board of Directors, unless there are any other questions for the VP SL. Uh, Kanan? I don't know if this falls under Abby's, which really or not is. Uh, so with the university announcing that they're hopeful for a hybrid model for fall, what do we have any idea what the resident situation will look like at that time? Um, no, Sorry, what Nada? Kenan, let Nada respond, Can please. I... OK. <laughs> um, so no, we still don't have an idea of how that hybrid model is going to work, seeing as the announcement came literally before the council meeting. Um, but I'm sure at the next Campus Live Department that will be an item on the agenda to discuss for the whole Campus Live Department. So once I have those information, I will make sure to let you know. Thank you, Nada. Kanan, I believe that answers your question. Do you have a follow up? No. OK, thank you. Uh, any further questions? <clears throat> All right, seeing none, we move to the Board of Directors report. Uh, Abby, has Ben joined the call or? <laughs> Yes. Ben, uh, has, has Ben joined the call? Are you aware of that? Um, ben just messaged me and said that he is joining the call to speak to the motion arising from the report. He um, is. I guess okay. while he's taking a second to join the call, um, we, we can, I guess, entertain any questions from the written report, um, if there are any. Do we have any questions about the written report or I guess about the motion? Not seeing any, I've got a message, nope. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna move the motion. Um, can I have a seconder for the motion? Abby is seconding the motion and Kanan, you have a one in the chat, so Kanan said ignore that. Um, Vincent, we already have a seconder. So are there any questions about this motion? No questions. OK. <clears throat> um, I guess that means we go to a vote. Is there any opposition? Um, yeah. <laughs> in the absence of Ben on the call, do you want to just briefly speak to how this motion got to council? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I guess I can give some background. Um, Wait, this... Ben's here. I see Ben, sorry. Yeah, Ben. Woo. Uh, ben, just start talking if you're here. Just start Everybody, talking. Um, I'm in USA GA right now, so apologies. Uh, so to speak to the motion arising from my report, um, the board of directors uh, considered a motion to rename uh, the capital improvement fund uh, after uh, last year's vice president operations and finance, Sandy Cavelling. Uh, the board decided that it would be more appropriate to uh, nominate Seneca for honorary membership. Um, and Students Council has this uh, power uh, from the bylaws uh, 
So the board has, I guess, submitted it for the consideration of council, uh, and it's a two thirds vote if uh, if two thirds of the body agrees, then then Seneca is an honorary member uh, to recognize uh, the uh, the efforts that he uh, he made to contributing to the financial well being of our organization. Um, happy to take any questions. Um, Vincent, go ahead. So just wondering for like I guess historical reasons, like um, like how often like do we confer honorary membership? And, like how many? Do, like do, do you know how many people we've given this to before? Uh, I do not know. I know every year that uh, council strikes a committee to consider uh, uh, nominees for uh, honorary lifetime membership. Uh, I, in my four years with WUSA, I cannot recall a person being given honorary lifetime membership. Um, though I will say, like, if, uh, for, I guess, governance side considerations, like, honorary membership is not the same as full membership. Um, it, it's really, it's a, I mean, it's an honor. <laughs> uh, just to recognize uh, the contributions to the org. Um, honorary lifetime membership gives the individual social membership, which means, um, and social membership as as defined is um, the ability to, if, if they'd like to volunteer or access services, they have the ability to pay into the Federation, um, but they don't have the rights of a, of a full member um, under the law. Just sent the two relevant articles of the bylaws in the chat if anyone wishes to read them. Are there any other questions? OK, I see none. Um, <clears throat> um, let me get a straw poll. Is there any opposition to this? Uh, just send a message into the chat. If there is, then we'll do a vote. Um, may I be excused, Abby? Maybe Thanks, everyone. Um, okay, so I'm not seeing any one typing in the chat. So all those opposed, we, we are now voting. All those opposed, please identify yourselves. Okay, I see no opposition, so this motion passes. <clears throat> Congratulations, Seneca Velling. If you are on the chat, uh, I don't know. You might be. Who knows? Um, we move to representative reports. Uh, Applied Health Science, sorry, Health Caucus. Is there Hi, this is Mary from the Health Caucus. Uh, yeah. February, March have been a bit of a slow month. We're still moving along with some of our department name changes. But other than that, we have nothing to report and we are open for questions. Are there any questions for health? OK, seeing none, we move to arts. Hi, um, not too many updates for arts. We're through the ASU. We're working on trying to imitate our end of term gala event, uh, so doing an online version of it and um, some final events coming up in this month and next month before the our student union election and before um, the turnover in arts counselors. Thank you. Uh, do we have any questions for arts? OK, seeing none, uh, engineering. Hi everyone, um, just updating you all on what's going on in engineering. Um, ESCO, which is the um, the Engineering Society of Ontario, and CFES, which is the Canadian version of that, um, had their conferences and um, their general meetings, just which just passed. Um, certain delegates from the engineering faculty were able to go, which is great. Um, 
there um, at CFES, there was, uh, I guess, uh, students who were advocating for tuition that is reflective of the quality of online education that we're getting right now, or at least an increase in the quality of education given this online learning environment. But um, otherwise, engineering is doing great. Great, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for turning on your video, Angela. It's nice to see your face. I don't think I've seen you before. Yes, this is me. <laughs> um, any questions for engineering? All right, seeing none, we move to environment. Hi, um, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, sounds good. Um, so not too much going on with environment lately, but we did just finish our general election um, and we have most of our council formed, um, but a couple positions going into by-election next week. Um, but uh, nothing else too spicy happening, um, but yeah, just excited heading into the new um, academic year. Thank you for that. Are there any questions for environment? All right, seeing none, we move to the caucus where there's always something spicy, uh, mathematics. Um, I can speak. Uh, I'm not really involved with the operations of MathSoc at this point. Um, I have been looking into <clears throat> some complaints about the uh, academic pause. I don't know if anybody has any input on that. I'd love to hear it. I thought it was a great idea, but um, some people have expressed that professors didn't follow it fully. So if anybody has anything, any anybody has any views on that, feel free to send me an email after the meeting so I can hear those. I don't know if there's anyone else from math who'd like to speak. I guess I can give a bit of uh, more back, more information. MathSoc has their GM the same day. Wusa has their GM just earlier in the morning. Feel free to attend. <laughs> Uh, Matt Tuck is currently going through their general election for next term. Um, and I'm currently working with the faculty on some well-being stuff for the students and the faculty. So like long-term plans on that. Thank you, Kanan. Do we have any questions for the Math Caucus? Also, a note from Abby, please email vped or prez at wusa.ca if you hear concerns about the academic pause. Um, seeing no other questions, we move to Science Caucus. Hi, this is Carly um, from SciSoc. Um, we just have a few updates um, for our grad boxes. We've um, received all of our items and we're just working on a safety plan to put them together and I just want to say a huge thank you to Abby because um, she's been a really big help to us in developing our safety plan and just finding a space to um, actually put the boxes together so a really big thank you to Abby um, also we launched our online uh, retail store so that has been going really well um, and we are also in the middle of our general elections right now as well and that's pretty much all that's going on at the moment. Thanks, Carly. I have a question for you. Um, could you talk a bit more about your grad boxes? Uh, what are those for? And can you give us an idea of what's in them? Yeah, sure. Um, I can't tell you all of the items because it's still a secret to some of our students, but I'll tell you the ones we've announced so far. Um, so basically, we were inspired by the WUSA boxes. Um, and we really wanted to do this for graduating students because every year we normally have a grad ball like many of the other societies do. Um, but obviously this year we couldn't, so we decided to do gift boxes instead. Um, and so um, just like the WUSA boxes, we're just going to send them out to students um, either by pickup or shipping. Um, and they're available for all, all students who will be graduating at some point in 2021. Um, so some of the items include like we have a sticker, a tote bag, um, a water bottle, 
And then we also have a few other mystery items um, that haven't been announced yet. Does that right. answer your question? Yes, thank you. I think that's a great idea. All right. Yeah. Uh, for the record, please note Vincent is leaving. Bye, Vincent. Um, are there any other questions for Science Caucus? All right, seeing none, we move to Cambridge. Hi, this is Jason from Cambridge campus. Um, not too much to update. Uh, we just established our lounge refurbishment budget for the incoming in-person term in September, and we hosted a few events such as our annual coffee house and our cooking night event. And uh, right now we're just in the process of recruiting the bigs, huges, and media for our first year orientation, which will take place in September. And uh, I can take any questions. We have a question from Abby, go ahead. Hey, um, my question is more surrounding. I know that you're um, probably getting ready for some turnover, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hate to give you homework, um, but I, I'm wondering if there's an opportunity um, here with the turnover um, and as we head back to in person to strike up some partnerships between the Cambridge campus and uh, main campus, mainly how WUSA can can support the Cambridge campus. Uh, I know that I've had some difficulty getting in touch with the Cambridge campus um, throughout the year. So just kind of thought uh, as my year comes to a close and Ben gets ready to take over, uh, might be kind of a nice seed to plant as we get ready to come back uh, to the to the region. Yes, for sure. Like with the online term, it was definitely really difficult to connect the uh, external campus with the main campus. So uh, definitely that'll be a goal for the next oncoming term, and uh, I'll try my best for that to happen. Thanks, Jason. Thank you both. Are there any further questions? OK, seeing none, we can move to Cambridge campus. Sorry, to Kitchener campus. Good morning, everyone. So I have two updates since our last meeting. Uh, so at our last meeting, I brought it forward that we were kind of in a spot of limbo waiting to hear if our final licensing exam was going to occur or not. Uh, but I do have some good news on that front. Uh, the government did reclassify how the exam is classified in their COVID scheduling. And um, so the exam did go on successfully, which was great news for our final graduating cohort that just went out on their clinical rotations because they should be able to write their license in October. Um, so that was a lot of work from many different organizations got that done, but that was very exciting. And my second update is over the past two weeks or so, um, every cohort at our campus had a chance to have a town hall with senior staff um, where we talked about what to expect for spring term, uh, kind of some hints at what might be coming for fall term, as well as we got the first peek at the proposed curriculum changes for the pharmacy program. Um, and they look really interesting so far. Uh, they've kind of condensed a few courses that students weren't finding a lot of value in uh, to kind of pull out the most valuable parts from those courses while removing sort of the extra fluff. And with the extra time, they've been able to put in a culturally safe patient care course, uh, which is very timely in the medical world right now, as well as kind of reimagining how our electives will look. Uh, with our program, we don't get very many elective courses or opportunities to kind of try their things out. So they're looking at sort of shortening the hours you would take uh, of an elective a week, but then you could take more in a term to kind of explore more topics. Uh, so that probably won't come in for another two or three years, depending on how fast they move. Uh, but that is coming up in the future. And that's all for me. Well, that sounds very exciting. Uh, do we have any questions for Kitchener? No, well, OK, I hope everything goes well with those course changes. Sounds great. Uh, moving on to Stratford. Do we have anybody present from Stratford? If you are, you're muted. All right, we're going to move on. If anybody from Stratford comes, uh, just message in the chat or unmute yourself and identify yourself. Um, moving to St. Jerome's. Hello, this is Chanel calling from, or 
calling for St. Jerome's. Um, not much to update. We have our elections this Monday and we're preparing for our turnover by the end of the semester. Um, we're also doing a gala online and we call it Gala in a Box. Um, it's super cute. If you want to know more about it, check our Instagram. But um, that's all we have. <laughs> All right, thank you for that. Are there any questions for St. Jerome's? OK, seeing none, we move to Renison. I don't think we have any reps here. Today. No, OK, that's fine. Um, all right, we move now to officers of council reports. Uh, beginning with the speaker, Abby. Is there anything you'd like to say? <laughs> yeah couple things. Um, just a reminder of the town hall um, this week on Thursday. Um, I believe at this point you've received a couple notices. Um, I'm going to be sending over um, the invite once I have it to the council mailing list, but a reminder that I'm really, really encouraging at least one person from each caucus to attend. This is something kind of new that we're trying, especially since we're doing the delegated meeting um, for the general meeting on the Saturday. This is an opportunity for you to connect and have your uh, constituents ask some questions, um, potentially just being there to listen to some of the concerns that students have um, to reflect that in your voting uh, on Saturday. Um, so please, 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 if you would like to attend the town hall and potentially speak, um, let me know by emailing speaker at WUSA. Um, then the general meeting again is on the Saturday um, at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, um, or depending where you are, <laughs> 1 p.m. Waterloo time, where I am. Um, and that attendance is mandatory, just like any other regular council meeting. Um, so if you do need to be excused, you have to let me know. Um, this will count towards um, your attendance record. Um, another thing that I would like to say is um, like I just kind of want to remind um, the counselors here that we're all here to work together. Um, the executive are not working against you. We're, we would like to be working with you. Um, you are also WUSA representatives, um, so please bear that in mind uh, when you're sharing things very publicly. Um, online, um, particularly on uh, anonymous websites, um, or be mindful of who you're sharing information with um, in an interpersonal setting. Um, if you hear something and it doesn't sound right or you're confused by it, instead of going online, please come and talk to me. Um, that way I can clear anything up for you. I have constantly offered to meet with everyone for 15, 30 minutes, however long it takes to have a conversation about something that's frustrating you making you angry, uh, confusing, anything like that. And again, I'd like to extend that offer as we get closer to the end of the term as well. Um, if there is ever anything you see online that just doesn't look right, um, please bring that forward um, because the misinformation that uh, can be circled and spread um, does not do well for the work that, that we're aiming to, to accomplish here. Um, so I just wanted to say that. That's it. Thank you, Abby. Um, I did have a question, but you then proceeded to say that you're going to send a calendar invite. It was going to be to ask to send that because the only time I ever attend something is if it ends up in my calendar. So I look forward to the invite and once it's in, the, in an afternoon, I'll be there. Uh, are there any other questions? I'd, I'd also say that I agree with the uh, last section of that report. Um, please, Abby Zoll is very accessible. Um, we now move to my report. I have nothing to report. Are there any questions for my report? There are no questions for my report. We move to the secretary's report. Alana? I have nothing to report. Are there any questions for that report? There are no questions for that report. Standing committees or commissioners reports. There's nothing to report. Are there any questions for those reports? 
there are no questions for those reports. We move to a special order. Um, this was originally scheduled for 1130. Uh, Vicky has asked that we move to 12. I have asked that Vicky please return. Please, please come as soon as possible because um, we're at that right now and there's nothing else in this agenda. So is Vicky on the line? I just shot her a message. I honestly didn't think we'd get here this fast. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. That um, it's John and his. Uh, I'll uh, I'll request her to join. There's there's nothing else that we can do right now. Edward, go ahead. Um, John, there is an item I want to bring up in new business. We could go try and make sure, that happen. Just, let's start. Let's start talking. Okay. Um. So again, new business. If. This is not really an emotion, but this is if people want to talk about it. But something I got heard from a student recently was the possibility of Vusa getting Headspace subscription for students. So um, I want to see if that's something the executive thinks is possible and if other counselors think is worthwhile. What's Headspace? Uh, so Headspace for context is a meditation app. So there is a free version, but then there's also paid subscriptions. Um, there are organizations out there like employers and um, a few schools that have subscriptions for their employees slash students. All right. Um, thank you for entertaining us, Edward. We will get to that in new business. Vicky has joined. Vicky, <laughs> thank you for joining. Um, yes. I was, we, like we, I said, Abby said I was in the other one, and ironically, my one amendment just came up, but the, I, I, I confident that the WUSA delegation there can handle it. If they need help, I will come back. Sure, they can. They're a smart bunch. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for coming earlier, Vicky. Go ahead. Um, hold on. I need to pull it up because I wasn't. <laughs> I was watching the time and Abby just messaged me a minute ago. I'm like, OK, hold on. Give me a minute. Um, so I conducted. Um, so I've gathered a handful of information so far. Um, I wouldn't say it's complete because I'm waiting for uh, other sort of uh, information to come forth. Hold on. That's not what I wanted. So share screen. Hopefully Teams likes me because Teams doesn't like me. So can everyone see like the presentation? It's being yep. Okay. Yep, you're good. So the contents are methods, services, buildings. Um, online learning and props and other things in the next steps. So the methods that I um, did to collect this data was um, a survey that went out from, I think, beginning of December to February uh, 12th, 2021, and it received over uh, 474 answers. And then I additionally um, conducted focus groups and one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions that were mostly held between February 22nd, uh, 22nd to February 20th. Six. However, I'm still going to hold more and I'm still data collecting because um, I'm waiting for uh, people to respond to me, specifically kind of the uh, sub campuses to help uh, give me any context if they have any sort of issues. So this is the um, this is not all services, but these were the main services in the pie graph. So um, of issues that people had found. So a lot of people had found issues with um, accessibility services next counseling services and next health services. One of the um, health services thing is I'm hoping to connect with NADA eventually um, regarding some data I got that could be relevant to a, a report that she is working on, I believe. Um, so the buildings that are received the most complaints about is PASS, MC, RCH, and there's also an um, issue around gender neutral and accessible washrooms but pretty much just all the old buildings and on campus got a lot of complaints there were some uh others that were just small um like i know nh so was a like a complaint building also some buildings at arts quad um were an issue but these are like the three main buildings i kept on seeing in my uh survey data and also through my um like my interviews and stuff um so the Online learning and props. Um, there was 22 people 
from the survey who had some issues with certain profs and I can't tell you what faculty because I didn't have any identifying information for that but there's also on the virtual calls there was a lot of people who had at least a couple of complaints for their profs either in their actual faculty and somewhat in had alternative faculty so just profs in general um eight people had complained about online learning um along with you in the virtual calls so online learning model um is not for i know it's a small number but online learning has not been very helpful i guess for people um disabilities for various reasons but i will be more in detail with that with my report um other things that um I haven't mentioned yet is international employment, housing, and financial concerns. Um, there was a few international students um, who came to my focus groups um, or virtual calls and they had issues. And then employment, it's more of a positive because there wasn't too much um, complaints. Housing, um, there's a few um, issues with housing on like on uh, residents like Waterloo, not so much off campus on um, financial well <laughs> i think everyone has financial problems as a student um so next steps i'm hoping to collect more data for people who have lived experience in different faculties also the different campuses so cambridge kitchener cambridge cambridge kitchener and stratford and also i'm, I'm waiting to hear from st jerome's to hear more um information there because i don't know much st jerome's and i'm waiting for the vp ed to send out an email to all usa student bodies um regarding the what sort of advocacy they have done around accessibility concerns if there is any um and see what we're do like see what they're doing compared to what we're doing and see if like somehow i could use that information and my um um, my report will be due, my first draft report will be due the 18th, and that's it. Thank you, Vicki. I'm, I'm open to questions. Are there any questions for Vicki or her report? Okay, I'm not seeing any. That means you did a great job, Vicki. I also would like to um, thank Edward uh, Yang for bringing um, an important, not like an important matter for a future student. Um, it's not undergraduate, but it's uh, for uh, graduate studies. So I have forwarded off the email regarding the Reddit thread to the GSA um, president and it was well received. Um, so they're going to handle it. And that's all. Um. What's that in reference to Vicky? Um, I just want to thank uh, Edward to, who sent me in uh, a uh, message. Okay. Abby. Abby, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to um, provide some additional context here too. Um, you may have noticed on the last slide for the next steps, it says um, that a first draft of the report will be av available for the uh, final council meeting of the governing year. Um, which means at that time um, we'll be coming forward and asking for an extension to allow the incoming executive team um, to take the first draft of the report um, and come back with a final report based on how they would like to move that forward and take it forward. Um, again, knowing that we're close to the end of the governing year, uh, we want to make sure that the incoming team has some flexibility to um, carry out um, their advocacy. Um, so just kind of prefacing that as well, um, in case you were wondering why it's a first draft and not the final report coming to that meeting. Great, thank you for the clarification, Abby. Are there any other questions? Okay, seeing none, I just wanna thank you, Vicki, for the work you're doing. It's very valuable. Mm -hmm. And with that, we will move on to General orders. All right. As Sorry. A good night. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Vicky. Bye, bye. Um, actually, my bad. We move on to business arising from the minutes. Um, there is no business arising. We move to general orders. There are no general orders. We move to new business. We have an item for new business uh, headspace discussion. Um, <clears throat> I will move this. Uh, sorry, Edward. I'm assuming you move this. Um, yeah, I'm. I guess I move it if you want 
consideration an item to proceed. Yeah, uh, I'll second it. And is there any opposition to us discussing this? OK, I see no opposition, so Edward, go ahead. OK, um, so I guess more context about Headspace. So it's actually not free. It is a paid subscription, but there is a free trial. That's what I was getting mixed up with. So the possibility of WUSA um, making a deal with Headspace to have this available for our students as kind of a mental health and wellness um, supplement kind of during this online time when on-campus avenues are a bit more limited. So yeah, I just want to hear people's thoughts on whether they think this is a worthwhile idea or if anyone has experiences with Headspace. Um, just something that was just kind of brought to me as a, by a student. That's something they want to see happen. Uh, Alana, go ahead. Alana, you're muted. No, sorry, I had some technical difficulties there for a second. Um, yeah, I uh, I saw your email, Edward. I just there's been a lot going on um, that I have not been able to get to it. Um, so uh, just from my end of it, and like I would love to hear if everybody else thinks it's um, a good idea as well. Um, I personally think it's a good idea, but I meditate, so that is why. Uh, <laughs> but we would need to kind of figure out costs and then um, financing as far as like, is this going to come from fees? Should I talk to student care um, about this? Um, there's a couple avenues we can consider. I just haven't gotten a chance to look into them at all yet. All right, thank you, Alana. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll let Angela and then Abby speak. Uh, so Angela, go ahead. Um, I think that this is a pretty good idea. I don't really meditate, but I've definitely downloaded Headspace a few times thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to use this app and then I end up forgetting. But I think that especially if it's like, su like subsidized in the sense that like students have access to like, you know, things beyond a free trial and like are able to have like, I don't know, I guess like some type of subsidized membership to it, I feel like it would be pretty helpful. Of course, like my only concern is kind of like what Alana said, like where I guess the funding for it will come from in the sense that um, like not overpaying so that, because like, okay, what I'm trying to say is, um, because if there's a certain amount of people who are going to use this, um, I I don't want us to like overpay for more people than that because then obviously it kind of just ends up being like wasted. So somewhat ensuring that like students have access to it, but like not, I don't know. I feel like, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes, yeah, sense. That makes sense. Okay, then yeah, that was my point. Abby? Then I might have a solution. <laughs> um, campus, so Campus Wellness recently came out with um, a way that they evaluate third party apps that they either purchase or sign on to. Um, so that was something that the Committee on Student Mental Health actually approved. And um, this, I guess, I'm going to put like framework, scientific framework or whatever it is to evaluate um, how useful apps are for students on our campus specifically. Um, I made a comment about Headspace and they said that it wasn't one of the ones that they had evaluated because the university doesn't currently have it. However, um, I did actually, this is kind of funny that this is coming up because I was actually going to send an email out um, later this week to Walter to ask if this is something that could be considered um, as something that could be evaluated to be used um, at, by the institution um, to give access to students. So. If there is a positive response here, then that's great. I was just going to send an inquiry email, but I can, um, if, if we get a positive response here, I can send it more as an advocacy email um, and say that our students council um, was in favor of that specific app um, being included um, and evaluated by this framework. Thank you, Abby. Uh, I'd like to make a note on funding. I think that there's a lot of alternatives that we can use for funding this. We can potentially look at the um, health fund. Uh, if, if, as Alana said, we talk to student care, I don't know if it's possible, but we may be able to swing 
using the health fund as this would be promoting students' mental health. Um, we could also look at partnering with the university to get them to donate and, you know, it'll look good on the university if they're doing something good for students' mental health. Um, so there's a lot of things that we can do if we decide that uh, this is something that we want to put as a priority. Um, Nick, go ahead. Nick, you're muted. Oh, okay, sorry, my teams was yeah, my my teams was acting weird for a sec. So, um, I think this is an interesting idea, but um, in my own experience, I've done a lot of research on meditation, and I think there's a lot of like good free alternatives, like especially on YouTube. There's a lot of channels that deal with meditation, and um, like I said, like I think it's an interesting idea, but I think like creating a whole fund for this project and making it a huge thing, I think it would be maybe a better alternative to like create a maybe list of possible YouTube channels or free alternatives that would be better and suggest those to the students as opposed to creating a whole fund for headspace. So that's just my opinion on the issue though. I'll respond directly to that. We, I, I don't know if you mean fund is as in the sense of an actual fund. We wouldn't be creating a separate fund for this. It would just be a line item if it ever ended up coming out of the central budget. Uh, it's possible that we may be able to cover this through 100% uh, through other means. Um, Alana, go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we just we need to figure out like in terms of like how much how much money we're talking about. And mm -hmm. then we can see if it's possible to um, cover it with existing funds um, or partner with the university as John suggested. Um, yeah, we, I think that we just need to know how much it's going to cost before we can figure Edward, out things. Edward, do you want to propose a motion for this or do you want to leave it up to the execs? Uh, actually, I guess this is the question better directed at the executives. Uh, would you like a motion from council to express support? Uh, so that when you talk to the university or talk to student care, you have a concrete backing or would you like to just take it and run with it? Um, can I do like a, instead of a formal motion, can we just do like a straw poll? Like, is there anyone who is very much against the executive going forward and asking some questions? Or um, if I don't hear anyone in opposition, um, then I'm going to kind of take that as support from council and um, start asking some questions. Um, again, these would be preliminary questions um, with campus wellness and Alana potentially with student care and Alana and I can kind of work um, together on this uh, with the information we have. Does does that make sense? I, I don't I, I don't want to formal motion something constantly if people are just generally expressing. Um, if you, that makes sense. Yep, that's fine. Um, that's... So is there anyone who would be against uh, us doing that? OK, I'm All not right. seeing anyone, so I'm guessing everyone is super pumped about that, and I'll take that. Sounds good. Uh, is there any other new business? Really? None? Oh, right. This isn't math doc. Uh, we move now to announcements. The next meeting will take place on April 18th at 10.30 a.m. on Microsoft Teams, as usual. Uh, are there any other announcements? Uh, Ab Alana, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Abby and I sent um, a few emails about spring fees for some societies and endowments, and there are a few that we haven't heard back from. Um, so if you could just uh, check and see if you, you've, you've emailed us about spring fees or not, um, that would be helpful. All right, are there any other announcements? Happy, go ahead. 
broken record over here. The general meeting is on Saturday at 1 p.m. We have a very light agenda. Please come. Uh, you have to come. <laughs> and if you can't come, please send me an email. Uh, and in addition to that, um, the town hall is Thursday. Alana, remind me if this is right, from 6. Uh, am I doing 6.30 to 8 p.m., I believe? Maybe. That sounds right. Uh, you'll get a calendar invite. Um, and if you would like to come and speak and um, ask some questions of the students who are attending, please let me know in advance so we can kind of bump you up um, into the Crowdcast thing. I'm not very tech savvy, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, we can bump you up so that you can uh, chat directly with students and ask some questions before you go into the general meeting. And if this is successful, this is something that we'd like to do more often and include the counselors in. So please consider that as well and uh, have feedback ready if you didn't like it or if you did like it. So yeah, that's all my announcements. Thank you, Abby. Are there any other? Oh, Angela, is that new? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I forget which number is question. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask, um, is have you sent like a meeting link for the town hall on Saturday? Because in my calendar, I don't see it. So I just wanted to make sure that I have it. So I no, haven't I sent haven't a meeting link for the town hall yet. Um, okay. I'm hoping to send one this afternoon. I'm just waiting for a link. Um, okay. And the general meeting should be a placeholder in everyone's calendar. Um, mm -hmm. There is not a link for that yet. Um, IT is creating a special link um, and you'll get that later on in the week and I'll just update that calendar invite so then you don't have a different one floating around. Um, and if you don't have either of those by Friday, uh, like I will not either of those. If you don't have the link to the general meeting by Friday, please let me know um, because there could be something wrong with the council mailing list and I just want to make sure everyone gets it. Um, feel free to shoot me a message wherever messages can be received so I can make sure that you get that link, um, but you should have it by Wednesday. All right, thanks. And Abby, to clarify, will this be a link that is different to the link that will be sent out to general members who wish to attend and view? Yes, um, this will be a different link. Um, so please do not share that link that you receive because one is for uh, people who can attend and participate and one is for people who are viewing. Yeah, um, there'll be two separate chats. Um, it'll it'll just be easier for those who are in the gallery can chat um, and that will be monitored by um, our IT team who will be um, supporting the event. Um, and then if you receive your your link as a counselor, um, you'll have access to do exactly what John, Angela and I are doing, um, which is show our screen, um, use the chat to get on the speaking order, um, present, things like that. Um, it's just different access um, because the counselors will be the ones speaking um, and we're expecting to have um, a few people in the gallery. We just want to make sure um, there's no disruptions. Great, thank you for that. Are there any further announcements? OK, seeing none, uh, we are adjourned. At 11.36 AM. Um, Abby, if you stop sharing your screen, as many people as possible, do you want to turn on your camera so I can get a picture of you guys so I don't forget for the last